Hello students, welcome to a new lesson on concepts. In the previous session, we had seen about resistance parameter. Today, let us focus on the inductance parameter. A wire, when twisted into a coil, becomes an inductor. And an inductor basically absorbs energy as well as has the property of opposing the sudden changes in current. Now our objective is to determine the voltage, current, the power developed and the energy lost in the inductor. So we are going to proceed in the same manner as we did for the resistance parameter. Let us find the voltage first. We know that if current is made to pass through an inductor, an electromagnetic field is formed. So a change in the magnitude of the current changes the electromagnetic field. So change in the magnitude of current, I have written it as dI by dt, a small change d by dt of I into my inductor value is going to give you the voltage which is developed. So V is equal to L dI by dt where L is the inductance and it is measured in Henry. From this we need to find out the current. We have found the voltage. Now we need to rearrange the sentence, sorry, the phrase, the expression and we need to find out the current. dI is equal to 1 by L V D T. When we integrate, because we need to cancel the differentiation part, the D part. So we are integrating it, integrating on both sides. We will get I over the limit 0 to T and here let us just leave it as such for simplicity in calculation. So when we apply the limits on the LHS side we would get I of T minus I of 0 is equal to 1 by L which is constant I'm taking it outside my integration part integral 0 to T V dt. Now what is this I of 0? I told you in the resistance parameter lesson that the resistor's job would start only after the supply is provided whereas an inductor will absorb energy even though there is no voltage flowing through the circuit. So you need to consider the initial condition, the initial value of current which is I of 0. So I of 0 would be the initial current through inductor. right now next when we see let's move on to the power part power is nothing but v into i and now i have found out my v as l di by dt and i multiply it with i so i'll get li di by dt Next, we need to find the energy which is lost in the inductor and we can get it by integrating the power. So, when I integrate it, I would get Li di by dt with respect to dt. Integration is with respect to dt. So, I would get dt and dt would be cancelled and I will have to integrate my i with respect to di. L is a constant. I am taking it outside. So I will have to integrate i with respect to di. And so I would get L into i square by 2. Right? So we have found V, i, p and w for an inductor. And now let us try to find out the relationship between inductors when they are connected in series as well as parallel. 
consider a voltage V given to two inductors L1 and L2. The voltage across the two inductors will be VL1 and VL2. And the current is going to be the same in a series circuit and I'm going to take it as I. So when you apply KVL here, it is going to be minus VL plus VL1 plus VL2 is equal to 0. The algebraic sum of the voltages in the closed path is 0. So you would get VL1 plus VL2 is VL. Now let us substitute the values of VL1, VL2 and VL. VL1 is nothing but L1 into di by dt. It's supposed to be di1 by dt but since current i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i for a series circuit, I am simply saying L1 di1 by dt which is L1 di by dt plus L2 di by dt which is equal to, I do not know the total equivalent resistance so I'll just name it as L equivalent into di by dt. Now when I take di by dt common on both LHS and RHS, I would end up with an equation like this where I can cancel my di by dt and simply say L equivalent is nothing but the sum of the two series inductances connected. So just like how we obtained an expression for resistors in series, we can conclude that even for inductors in series, it's going to be just the sum of the two inductors which is going to be the equivalent value of my inductor.